It was not you who chose me, says the Lord, but I chose you and appointed you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of God the Father Almighty, the love of Jesus Christ, His Son, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Good morning, my dear friends in the Lord. The Lord is good all the time and all the time. The Lord is good. Amen. My dear friends, today is Thursday, the 14th day of May. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Matthias, who was an apostle and martyr. I'd like to mention also that today we celebrate the feast of a saint that we are not familiar with, except that with the coronavirus, we suddenly got to know that there is such a saint. I mean, as far as I am concerned, I must confess this, I didn't know. So we are celebrating also today the optional memorial of Saint Corona, who was the wife of Saint Victor. During the persecution, the husband was killed by the persecutors and so she ran, leaned over the husband and wept and she was also killed on that occasion by the same people. With the coronavirus, we are struck that there is a saint like that. And by providence, she is the patron of plagues, epidemics and pandemics. And so we offer this mass, praying for our intention, or sorry, praying for our intercession and the intercession of Saint Matthias, whose feast we celebrate today. In union with the Holy Father, Pope Francis, who has invited all of us, all men and women of faith, to join him in prayer, fasting, and works of charity on this particular day for the healing of our world. My dear friends, together, one heart and one mind, we offer this Mass that God may heal our world. Amen. We also pray at this Mass for the intentions of Gloria Fernandez. And for all other intentions of our hearts, we pray that our Lord Jesus Christ may grant them through the intercessions of these martyrs of this church, both now and forevermore. Let us call to mind our sins and be sincerely sorry for them. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You sit at the Father's right hand interceding for us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who assigned St. Martha as a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at his at how your love has been allotted to us we may merit to be numbered among the elect through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Acts 
of the apostles. One day Peter stood up to speak to the brothers. There were about 120 persons in the congregation. Brothers, the passage of scripture has to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit speaking through David foretells the fate of Judas who offered himself as a guide to the men who arrested Jesus after having been one of our number and actually sharing this ministry of ours. Now in the book of Psalms it says, Let his camp be reduced to ruin, let there be no one to live in it. And again, let someone else take his office. We must therefore choose someone who has been with us the whole time that the Lord Jesus was traveling around with us, someone who was with us right from the time when Jesus was baptizing until the day when he was taken up from us. And he can act with us as a witness to his resurrection. Having nominated two candidates, Joseph, known as Barsabbas, whose surname was Justus, and Matthias, their friend. Lord, you can read everyone's heart. Show us, therefore, which of these two you have chosen to take over this ministry and apostolate, which Judas abandons to go to this proper place. They then drew lots for them, and as the lot fell to Matthias, he was listed as one of the twelve apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens is glory. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the dumb heap he raises up the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. The Lord sets him in the company of the princes of his people. Alleluia, alleluia. that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. 
This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I shall not call you servants anymore, because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me, no, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and then the Father will give you anything you ask him in my name. What I command you is to love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear friends in the Lord. The Lord is good all the time, and all the time the Lord is good. Amen. My dear friends, today, like I said at the beginning of Mass, is a very special day. A day that the Holy Father invited us to join Him in praying for the world. He has requested from us to fast, to pray, to do works of charity. These are the three pillars of sacrificing, of uniting with our Lord Jesus Christ, who himself symbolized all these in his life. He fasted, he prayed, and he was compassionate. Why are we praying? Prayer is a relationship with God. So the very first reason we pray is that we want to have a relationship with our Creator. In prayer we offer thanksgiving for all that God has done for us. In prayer we submit ourselves to God asking that He may grant us forgiveness for we were created out of dust in weakness. David says in Psalm 51, a sinner I was born, in sin I was conceived. So from, from the very fact of our creation, from original sin, we are weak and so very liable to sin. So in prayer we ask God who is super abundantly merciful and he always forgives his children when we ask him to forgive us in sincerity. In prayer, my dear friends, we present our needs to, to him. Like Jesus Christ has told us in the gospel today, anything you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. So in prayer we make requests, as our Lord Jesus Christ taught us in the Our Father, give us this day our daily bread. My dear friends, the request we make today is that God may heal our world, that God may have mercy on our world. And I honestly dare to say today that if there is any truth beside what we are made to know about coronavirus, about COVID-19, its origin, and maybe perpetrators for whatever selfish interest. If there are any truths, if there is anything that is hidden from us, that God may also reveal to us. If there are human beings behind this for any selfish reason, that God should expose this their secret. For nothing is hidden from Him. I make bold to say this. There are so many conspiracy theories. 
There are so many things said, written, and otherwise. We have a saying that there is no smoke without fire. And if this is natural, God is the creator of nature. His power is greater than all there is and there could ever be. Lord, we pray that your power may overcome every power that is a threat to your beloved children. This is our prayer. This is the prayer of our world. And we ask your forgiveness, Lord, that if it is by our sin, by our errors, by our acts of commission and omission, that this has come upon your world. That you, in your abundant mercy, may forgive us, cleanse our world, and save your people. The Lord is good all the time, and all the time the Lord is good. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For it is through your goodness that we have received this bread that we now offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have received this wine that we now offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Almighty and eternal Father, we come to you as you to receive us and to give to sacrifice to us you with humble and contrite heart. Amen. Blessed are Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented for the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that you hear our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock. But through the, the blessed apostles, Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without an end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the 
upon to all holiness, men holy day for this week we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of this death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church pray throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, Paul, and Patrick, of the Aris, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, as with the blessed apostles and all the saints of Christ throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life. May present glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. This is Jesus Christ. This is he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed indeed are all of us who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof and only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Their body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Lord from day unto life everlasting. Amen. All sacrament most holy, all sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks be you, be every moment I. All sacrament most holy, all sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks be you, be every moment I. All sacrament most holy, all sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks be you, be every moment let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through the blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to share in the lot of the saints in light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and be with you all, now and forevermore. Amen. The Holy Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks.